On 9-11, uh, my kids were both young. My son was a little over a year old. And I remember on that day, because I was getting ready to be U.S. attorney, that uh, I was going to go meet a friend in Colorado. And I remember driving down and hearing on the radio that a plane had struck uh, uh, one of the towers. And at the time in my head, I thought it was a small plane. And then as the day unfolded and we saw the tragedy and, and we recognized, uh, you know, after the fact, uh, we lost about 3,000 lives, we lost symbolic structures, we lost certainly any innocent notion this country has that we're somehow immune from terrorist attacks. It had such a profound effect on each of us individually and certainly on me and my family and the state. And I remember it being so eerie the days after that, not seeing planes in the sky. It was, you know, it was profound. And I think as we remember 9-11 every year, we have to remember uh, the brave firemen, uh, the law enforcement, the lives lost, and recognize that, that uh, we are blessed to be uh, in this country and that we all have a duty to do uh, in remembering those lives that were lost, uh, say our prayers for them, and make sure we do our best as individuals, as citizens, uh, to carry on the great traditions of this country.